Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none, you know, my dad walk on. Well, we here, man. Hey, man, want to tell everybody to tune in, tap in, man. Make sure you subscribe. But guess what, man? We got a guy here today. He don't really need no introduction because he frequents the show. This is a show that he stops through, and and it's young energy. Ziggy made it is in the building. What's going on, man? <laughs> What's up, with y'all? Ziggy? What's going on? Man, how you doing, man? Man, you already know, maintaining. You brought this bad weather with you, didn't you, when you came back down from college? Uh, It's about the same here. Oh, is, is it the same, yeah. same way muggy? It's a little colder because the mountains down there. Man, so yeah. let's talk about it. Do you like it? it? College, man. Uh, Where, what city is it in? Uh, Nashville. Nashville. Ooh, Nashville. That, isn't that Nashville. Cash- Huh? Cashville, Tennessee. Isn't that Tennessee. like country? Though? Oh, damn. Yeah. Because I be thinking about, when I think about Nashville, I think about a lot of country singers. Yeah. That's what it you see a lot. Yeah, yeah. Is there a sure. lot of black folks out there? Nah, not really. Well, in my school, I go to a HBCU. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, but I go outside of that, then it's like, you know what I'm saying? What made you pick <laughs> HBCU? Uh, Your daddy made you. <laughs> no, he don't do that. Come on. I man. was going to do that anyway, though. You know what I'm saying? I just did it because I, I didn't want to go to the, like, no, you know. Where, Ivy League or whatever they call it. Nah, I wanted to go to HBCU. I, that was already, that was already, you know what I'm saying, established before I even, you know what I'm saying, even thought about another college. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go to HBCU. You miss high school? No. No. You don't miss, you don't miss your friends? Huh? You don't miss your friends? I mean, I had friends, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? Time to move on. Okay. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah. You alone or type Okay, of what's yeah, the... I... Come on, y'all know me, bro. <laughs> well, I know about the wild parties. I know you ain't going to tell me everything because y'all don't like bro, to tell. Y'all you, don't like to tell the truth about the wild because, parties, no, because man. Because your daddy around there. So if he wasn't here, then he There's might have told us some stuff. going on in that college, man. Bro, I've been to the one, bro. And a half. One and a half? Yes. <laughs> Explain the half. Because, I'm, bro, I went and I did because I'm not a party type of person. Y'all got to, you know what I'm saying? It's too much people, bro. Like, so why did you go else. in the first yeah. place? Your friends made you yes. go? they made me go. And you ain't joining no fraternities or any of that sort of stuff down there? No, I ain't. Why not? No. It's not his thing. Not interested in it. No. Nigga don't feel like he need to Just be getting a click. Just check to see where you at. Group, whatever. I've been by myself. I mean, not really, not like literally, but like, you know, I am like semi loner so I be chilling, you know what I'm saying? I be by myself. Did anybody down there recognize you for the uh, movement of the music? I mean, yeah, they already know. Uh, You know, a couple people walked up to me talking about, oh, yeah, I seen you on the, uh, you know, they talk about they hear my beats, they hear it like, you know, they heard my tag before, and I ain't even really had to say nothing, but then Mm -hmm. when I started saying, well, who I work for and stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, I heard that. I'm like, dang, they people know my YouTube and everything. I'm like, I ain't even know that. They tap Anybody in, else know? down there doing what you do? Uh, yes, it is. Um, it's a lot of people down there do it, like I do. But you know, what I'm saying, uh, you know, and it's it's a lot of it's a lot of uh, rappers. It's a lot of you know, what I'm saying people who do engineering. It's a lot of wow. You know, a lot of people that's do what I do, but not necessarily my, the same thing that I right. do, but they in my field. Right. And I can learn a lot of stuff from people that's in my field. Especially man. because they're from different um, cities and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They might do it a little bit different, so definitely learn. And yeah. you can probably teach somebody something, too. Man, right. I, want, I want to really hear about that. Uh, I want to hear about that that basically that music, man. I want, I want I want to hear about this video. I seen a video of somebody showed me a clip of a video. Look like y'all was on campus doing it. I want to know about it, man. Like, give me some ins and outs. It ain't came out yet, have it? No. But 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 what you rapping now? I mean, you yeah, rapping? Yeah. You on the mic? I'm on the mic, bro. Damn. My cousin done brought me on the mic, bro. <laughs> How you like it? I mean, it's cool. Uh, I, I always been rapping. Nobody just never knew it, cause you know what I'm saying. I came out as a producer, and I, you know, I like kind of been like shot. So like, I ain't never wanna, you know, cause I ain't never like the spotlight like that. But then, you know what I'm saying. My cousin, he was just listening to my uh all my you know unreleased songs. He's like, bro, you have to rap, do it, bro, because 
not a lot of people in Dallas make beats good and rap good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I learned how to rap through my pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Your daddy, yeah. I, I just had him on here the other day, and I put some of his music up. He still, you know, he still go in, and he he doing he done kind of backed off to where yeah. he don't want to give a nigga none of, none of that good. I had I people know. come on here. It's been a pe few have people. All that unreleased yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been a few people come on here and just talked about the way. <laughs> <laughs> and don't want to let it yeah, go. Don't be like him. <laughs> hey, nah, but we. I'm gonna bring him back though. Watch me. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You gonna do a collab with both of y'all? That'd be hard. That'd be hard. I try to give him the rap first, though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Try to, yeah, yeah. Well, let, That'd let, be dope. So, so, this when is the video dropping, man? Uh, December, December, December. Sometime in December. Sometime in early December. December. For Christmas? Oh, before Christmas. Yeah. Okay. That's hard. So, so what are you what are you expecting on the rap side that you wasn't experiencing on the, like just the the producing side? Well, I feel like. I'm a I'm a gain more respect because you know to be able to produce a song, record it, and then make and then have the good lyrics on there is that is hard. Is that is that Dr. Dre? That's before your time, or or or, or this other dude, uh, Timbaland, uh, Big Crit. Big Crit for sure. Timbaland, Big Crit, Dre. Uh, it's one more. And Kanye. Uh, Kanye. Yeah. It's certain ones who can do it. Uh, yeah. Who else? Is, 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 did I miss somebody? Is, is, oh, you know what? Is that Soldier Boy? Yeah. I mean, Soldier Boy, Boy. count too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't leave him out. Yeah. He wanted to make the first to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Not the first, but on the internet. Yeah, on the he, internet spill. He was the first. He was yeah. the first one to really do it. Yeah. What are you using? Fruity Loops or something? Yeah, he makes it known Loops. too. Oh, he let you know he, he did it first on the internet. Yeah. Niggas were laughing at it. How do you feel about being one of the, like like cause cause of course, you know you doing something outside of the box of a lot of people that's in your age bracket. You know what I mean? Right. Like like how does that feel to to? Well, I feel good because I'm different than everybody else. I yeah. feel like that you know everybody want to you know around my age they want to they either want to rap, play basketball, or you know play a sport. Yeah. Or you know what I'm saying? It's typical. But, you know, I'm glad I chose a different field. You know, I already knew my journey was going to be in music, though. We already know that. Yeah. But, like, you know, I just didn't think I was going to, you know, rap or, you know what I'm saying, just produce on his own, period. You know what I'm saying? And now that, you know, I'm kind of, I already got my sound, but now I'm just perfecting it. That's all yeah. I'm doing. I know you can get And I'm still, I'm still learning and everything. You know what I'm saying? It, it's always space to learn, you know. That's how, I, that's how you get better. And what, whatever you do. What about the kids that a kid that's coming out of school, and and you want to try to help help him to, uh, you know, come out and he he got he want to do like you. He want to go to college. He want to he want to make beats. Mm -hmm. He want to be successful, but he don't have a dad like yours. You know, what would you suggest to him? Uh, I'd say um, to become a, like a good producer, you always have to find one person that you work with. He don't have to be buzzing. He don't have to be, you know what I'm saying, all the clout and all that because that's going to happen. It may not happen, but the music is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Find one person and stick with that one person. Y'all will create a sound nobody can ever create. That's why you got Zaytoven and Gucci. That's why you got Shawty Red and Jeezy. That's why you got That's why you got that. Well, who is because, the one person that you, you vibe with? Uh, me personally, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I have a cousin. His name's Z Cash. That's who I rap with right now. Okay, and that's we starting a group called Dub Z Trio. That's what we rapping. That's our rap. That's our group. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the beats, you on the vocals, and I'm on the vocals as well. And you know we finna man. That's hard. That's yeah. hard. So so you you on that? I know we just interviewed Jose Bodega. Yeah. Um, you was on a few of his tracks on his project, right? Uh -huh. know, which how, how which ones was it? Uh, checklist. Checklist. Yeah, yeah. We talked they about said, that. They said, they said that was the best song on it. We talked about that. Yeah. How did you feel about it? Uh, how was the process in making that beat? How long did it take you to make that beat? That beat to you know at max ten minutes. Yeah, you just like to make them get them done. Yeah. Was you in school or that was before then? Uh, that was probably that was before then. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. yeah, that's hard, man. The uh, actually, um, that was playing it, and um, you know, what I'm saying playing the songs to whoever put on his mixtape, and yeah, it was like, bro, you got you got to 
what you doing with this song? Cause I'm finna come, I'm finna snatch I'm it. Snatch you know, it. You know, Cause he was like, bro, that beat hard. You gotta, yeah. You gotta rip that. Yeah, That's but hard. yeah, that beat. You know what I'm saying? Like the beats that I, you know what I'm saying, really, really like. Them be the ones that don't even get placed. It be the ones that be like, all right, this cool. I'm mm. gonna send this one because this is more of his style. But them the ones that get placed all the time. Well, how do you do your music down there? You got uh, what do you go to the studio when you in school? I don't have. I got an in. I got a studio. I got my studio, uh, mini studio in my dorm. How, how's oh, man studio in your dorm room? So how is? How do you? Is it close off to where you can work without being disturbed? You know, because you think of college, you thinking people walking in and out of rooms, just hanging out. How do you? How do you do? How do you get that isolation time? Uh, it's pretty fluent. Like, uh, I mean, I'm grateful that my uh, roommate cool. So you know what I'm saying. Uh, you know, I just be. You know, I got my speakers, I got my uh my mic, and I got my piano, and I just be making beats. And you know, I it's pretty fluent. I don't have no uh, interruptions. Really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then like, you know, people in the dorm stop start finding I made beats, and they was like, "Bro, you got a mic?" And I'm like, "Yeah." You know what I'm saying? Then I started business right there. I started recording. Wow. So, but bad. then when you record, um, how how do you make your walls soundproof? Huh? How do you make your walls soundproof? I mean, or you y'all don't put you know like when you watch like when you think about watching like hustling flow and all them, they use them egg egg crates and put on the wall or whatever. Well, it's something that I use it's called presets in the uh, computer, mm -hmm. and it make your voice sound good. And then like you know what I'm saying, our our like our dorm is already it don't even make you know what I'm saying all that all that air sound it really don't make that right. sound. You don't have that echoey sound and all of that. No. Nah. So you don't really have to have a soundproof I don't have wall. To. I prefer it. Like you said, I have it, but like I just didn't bring it with me to college. Oh, so okay. I just work with what I had, and it still sounded good. You so know you can't saying? tell the difference. No, nah, not really. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. So <clears throat> when you um so. How you shipping stuff back? You know, nigga need a beat. You at college? I'm here, nigga. Send me a beat. Send me. You sending it back? Yep. Man, did you do it? Was you on that last Yellow Beezy uh, uh, project? Yeah, I already know, bro. Yeah, I know I had to be on that, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, how many times was you on that? Twice. Uh, I was on there one time. What song? I was what song on. was it? Uh, Football Dreams. It was, okay, okay. Football Dreams. But what was? The, okay, did you think that's the one that he would have picked to put on there? Uh, that, for that, sure. that that beat. For sure, that was Why you did it specifically for him? Nah, I, bro, you send that said, nigga a package. Yes, and you like here, man. Check yeah. you check these out, yeah. and you knew in your mind when you sent them. Cause I had Steve Below on here, and he said he sent when he did Twisters and Doja, he sent a pack of beats to uh to PMC. to PMC, yeah. and he was like the last beat he sent was that Swiss and Doja. He said he did not like that, like he didn't want into it like that. Man. But that's the one that that he liked the most, and that's what he yeah. picked. So you never yeah. know. But you he say you knew. Know. Uh, I did know that he was gonna pick that beat, though. I did know that. You know him just like, that way, or? I mean, yeah. I mean, I worked with him a bunch of times because <laughs> you know we got a lot of unreleased songs that's not even out yet. <laughs> yeah. So it's like you know I already know that he finna rap on this. You we already know. You know what I'm saying? Like when I make a beat, I could. You have to hear them rapping on it. You have yeah, to hear. Yeah. You have to have. That creativity and imagination to like, you know, saying hear them rap on. You can hear that nigga. That, yes. that, that nigga going in. I'm talking so, about yeah. Is there an unreleased song that you have with him that you feel personally feel like that's a hit right there? But he just needs to release it. I mean, did you yeah. remember like that? You like, know that that's like, yellow, that's like, your three favorite. Years, two years ago, and you know that that's ago? a hit. Yes, there. but I think he is gonna release one of them. I just can't. Yeah. But you, but, but you know that thing right. Come on, man. For sure. And he know it's right. I mean, he said it's one of his favorite songs. But it ain't released yet. Is it one of it's, your favorite songs? Yeah, it's one of my favorite beats, too. It is? Yes. And you he gonna know exactly name? which one. He see this, he gonna know exactly which he, one. He gonna know, bro. Come on. But you can't, you can't, say, you can't say the name, I right? I can't say the name. Okay, just checking. Yeah. But he already got a name to it and everything. Yeah, it's already recorded. I mean, But no videos, put, haven't done a video yet for huh? it? He has done a video? to it. No video, no, no nothing. nothing. Mm -mm. But you know that whole hot. Hey, haven't he released the uh? The, uh yeah, he said that on. Uh, he did say it on million dollars worth the game. What? what the name? The name of the song. Okay, so I mean you can tell me now. Then <laughs> go ahead. His song called "Ain't It Funny." And he ain't, ain't even funny. he ain't dropped it yet. Nah. But what the hell he bringing it up for if he ain't dropped it? 
Cause I, you know what I'm saying. On, Did on he the, say when he gonna up, drop it? It's coming up on his album. Okay, his next okay, album. Yeah. But you know yeah. it's coming. Yeah. Is his next album coming out this year or next year? Next. Next year. Mm-hmm. Okay. Early next year, first quarter. First quarter. Yeah. That's hard. Okay. I just. I, how do you feel to like to be uh, on the team, man? I mean, PMG got a whole hard team. Y'all hard. I mean. Yeah. Um, I don't see the PMG chain yet, but you know I'm waiting <laughs> on mine too. So I understand, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> waiting on mine, you waiting on yours. I, you know, it can be just a little small one, you know. Yeah. But I know one day God gonna bless me. You yeah. know what I'm saying. So when when am I, when 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 you when you, I mean why you you ain't rocking it? What you mean? The PMG chain. You you got you got your piece yet? That's your family, man. You live and you live smiling, and breathe bro. that. They know. They know who I. Be, yeah, and they, you like. I gotta have a Ziggy made it going. Yeah, come on. <laughs> That's hard, man. Yeah. But it, that's a blessing to be and grew up in a, in 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 that environment, yeah. bro. You know, I a lot been, of kids wish they had that, bro. Yeah, but see, it wasn't always like this all the time. I've been I've been New Yellow, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, it wasn't always like this all the time. It wasn't always yeah, Yellow big. I, you working with Yellow? People asking me for opportunities. Can I send beats to Yellow? Ask for a handout. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not even like that. Cause you know what I'm saying. When I first started, you know, it wasn't like this, bro. But now I done mastered my sound. I done got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I feel like I've been mastered it since last year, though. But you know what I'm saying? I'm, it's only, I'm only going to get colder, so it's going to be like, you know, it's <laughs> over with. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love the confidence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all nigga know he, he ready because at the end of the day, he know that the young people, for me, you know what I always say, the young, the vision come through the next generation yeah. and the next sure. So you, it, I, it's inevitable. I, I can sit back and respect it. Yeah. And nigga, you, to be real with you, for people to be around you and be able to, you are a token. You are something special to even be a part of that team as well because sure. they, you, you, you are the future. Yeah. You paved the way for the future. So I know the beats and everything coming from a different place than they could even think. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we older, so we ain't gonna be able. We on something else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So man, they got they got to love that. Since you're um, so confident, I want to know who is it that you would love for them to pick up one of your beats? Like who is the person that you would love to hop on your beat? Like your number one person? Uh, I think right now they would blow your mind if they ever call you and say, "I need one of yours." Get the trip, yeah. I gotta say, little baby, bro. You like little baby? If I, if yeah, if if I get a call talking about, hey, bro, little baby just hopped on your beat. I'm like, bro, it's out there. I already know it's out there because everything he touches, even if it's a feature, mm-hmm. it's just gonna be out the roof. Wow. What uh, you gonna do? Quit school? <clears throat> no, I ain't gonna quit school. Come on. I'm just checking because a lot of people when they feel like they made it like that, they're like, what I need school for? I'm I'm gone. Yeah, they, nah, they, 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 they it, it, school gonna come through for you in the long run, bro. They, if they do that, that's short term. I mean, it's going to be cool for that time, though. I, I just need to always know where your mind at. That's the reason why I asked. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to. My daddy ain't even going to let me do that, bro. And I'm not going <laughs> to let myself do that. Big X to plug. One of the uh, hottest. Uh, right now, they saying that up and coming in Dallas. And Man. you end up getting a chance to work with him. Man. I talked to him the other night, a couple of nights ago. Yeah. Uh, how was it? Um, shout out to Big X, man. Nigga, you know where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my boy. You know Shout what I'm saying? Big X, man. man. So how was it working with him and Sauce Walk on that track? Man. Man? Okay, so let me tell you the whole. I got to have it all. Okay, so uh, my boy Ice. Shout out DJ Ice. My boy Ice. Call, the shout was, out Ice. I called. Uh, no, I was supposed to be at the studio. It was like, bro. It was like two or three in the morning, mm. or four. I was up and I was um. I was just, you know what I'm saying, just finna lay down, man, because I uh, was finishing some beats or whatever, you know what I'm saying, just doing my daily dose of beats, making packs or whatever, sending where I need to send, organizing, you know, regular producer stuff. Call, Ice called me, he like, bro, Big X and Sauce just got on your beat, bro. I'm like, swear, bro. He hand the phone to Sauce. So I was like, bro, this lit, bro, I swear, bro, me and Big X finna go up with this. Damn, you know what I'm that's hard. But I'm 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 proud, but I'm mad though, cause I'm supposed to be at the. I was supposed <laughs> to be at the studio. It's always happened to me. Yeah, I'm supposed to be at the studio. I always leave. Or I'm always not there when I get some big going. That's hard though. But cause your work just paying off. Yeah, that's hard. There's gonna be a lot of those times for you coming. You know so saying? maybe God getting you prepared for that. 
Cause you ain't gonna be able to be in the room with some of these. these well, I, I've been in the studio with Big X before. Though. No, no, I know, but yeah. I'm just saying when but it happens, sauce. when it's sauce, when it start happening, big. it's just happening, bro. That's big. That's a good look, and yeah. it's because of the fact of not only that it's Big X and Sauce, but you've done it with Yellow, you've done it with the Trap Boy, Freddie. Yeah, it's just God gonna just continue to bless you. That's all, bro. Yeah. You I putting the work working. in, and you keep planting them seeds. You call it work, and I call it planting seeds. Yeah, and at the same time, God gonna give you a harvest, a great harvest. So when you telling me about being in those times where you just to yourself and you basically working like you working when nobody's looking, God already looking. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. For sure, for so that's sure. hard, bro. And thanks for just texting the old boy, letting him know you good up there when you was yeah. in college. You know. Yeah, yeah. Y'all talking about Don't forget about me <laughs> I do tell you I that did, Y'all didn't text me I texted No y'all. but that's cause I don't wanna bother you bro I mean We know hey, you bro. be studying And you exactly. so hard studying I mean, Yeah But I wasn't gonna forget <laughs> Well I'm gonna and text you then Nigga I'll blow you up <laughs> <laughs> Word This old nigga Won't quit texting You know what I'm saying Yeah <laughs> No I just be wanting To give people their room man Because yeah, at the I, end of the day I, I You doing that, your I thing up there You yeah. young man And I remember When I ain't I ain't really go to college But I was at the college Yeah And I wasn't supposed To be up there I stayed up there a year Yeah that's how you be When you be a street cat I'm out there Just doing stuff Just to be doing it bro Yeah yeah, yeah, that's the way it go down. So I know y'all boys up there having a good time too. I mean, you know, I be bro, I be chilling, bro. You do, but it's some people ain't never been nowhere. They ain't never been done nothing. You see these people. Yeah, I mean that's why I feel like I'm so chill. You know, people want to go to all the concerts and stuff. I'm be like, man, y'all okay? Y'all got that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna just be chilling like, because you've been seeing you know a lot of stuff yeah, already. I've been, I've been exposed to a lot already. Like even like in high school, like I was already like having placements. Went barely in high school, tenth grade. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I already know like what's going on. You yeah, know what I'm I just let them have that because you know what I'm saying. You know, I feel like you know all the um, you know what I'm saying all the events and stuff is cool, but I just feel like I just in my I be with myself and just peace, man. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying by How myself. And what about your little brother? Do you ever call and check on him? Why you yeah, call? Him? I always call my little brother, man. You know what, what I'm he saying? be saying? Because he was over the other night. He demand his space and his respect and his notoriety. I'm in the building, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, check man. That's my boy. <laughs> Le June, man. <laughs> so, but do you? What do you expect? Like, like, what do you expect? You know, this year coming up, that that. That's gonna be big for you. Is it the project that you're putting out, the project, everything. I think the uh, cause I'm supposed to be dropping the project after that one. I just feel like really? this, this year, this twenty 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 three. Man, this is gonna probably be one of my biggest years. I'm not gonna say my biggest year because yeah. I don't even know what I got in. You know what I'm saying? That's right. But it's gonna be one of my biggest years. That's gonna be hard. You know man. what I'm saying? Cause like every year is getting better. 2020 it was cool. 2021 I'm blazing. 2022, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I only can. What happened? What's gonna happen in 23? We don't know. But them, you know them girls. You know, what I'm you know them girls up there, man. I'm just saying. They is, bro. They up there. Yeah. You at HBCU now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, man, they ain't never left home till now. Yeah. They pulling up. They is. What's up, Ziggy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know nothing about nothing. <laughs> he ain't telling nothing, you he giving no goods up up there at the school, man. Mm-hmm. Them boys showed up. Hey, y'all so let me ask you this though. Uh is is you are you you gonna basically stay up there? You gonna how many you four years up there? Yeah. It's four year? Mm-hmm. And your what what's your what what's your uh basic you took up? What, what what's your main thing you trying to get out of this school? Is it the music? Engineering? Mm-hmm. Is it what is it? To, for sure to get better at music um, I'm, I'm a music major right now uh, Okay Commercial music major Okay So uh, I'm learning how to read music uh, Through the like Cause you know I, When I started When I started making beats I was just playing by ear I yeah. didn't know how to read music That's what I'm doing now In college And then you know You got your core classes And stuff like that But I, that's what I'm going to school for To get better at music Networking And um, you know what I'm saying Just be like more Musically inclined than I ever was. Wow! So, yeah. when, when you seen Yellow down there at Jackson, uh, the uh, he was down there with Dion. Yeah, Jackson State. What did you say? Damn, you need to come over here to Memphis, man. What are you doing, man? We need to come. No, <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. Yeah. But was you proud to see him over there doing oh, that? Because sure. yeah, I, yeah. I like, I thought it was live for him to be mm-hmm. bringing him out like mm-hmm. that. Bring the team out. Yeah. When you that seen it, cold. did you know it was gonna happen? No, I did not know. So, is so nobody told you? I just seen it. I. Don't, did 
Did you tell me? Did you? No, he didn't tell me. I just seen it. That's hard, yeah. though. What do you think about Dion and that program he got going over man, there? I feel like that's amazing. <laughs> he doing things nobody done nah, before in the, in so. the HBCU and world. And the way that he being a coach is like, that's that's hard. Nigga got a whole little old anthem. Everybody marking him. Them niggas, they, he really building something for, for our culture that, that we need, man. Leadership, yeah. being able to deal with our children. Yeah. Man, it's just big big ups to him, man, for even yeah. figuring it out, you know, and for, for helping. Because sure. he could have went... And did something with somebody else or did it a different way. But yeah. he chose to do it that way. Sure. And then his boy's up there too, ain't it? Yeah, I think. No. Two of them? Two. Two. Yeah. Shoot. Shoot. It's just one, ain't it? One now. And the daughter. And the daughter. So he, he doing what he supposed to do, man. Yeah. And he played football game. And he, yeah, the nigga, the nigga cold, man. I, it's hard to deal with. I got to ask Jock Taylor. Shout out to Jock Taylor, too. He been on Boss Talk 101. He the only one to get to get them exclusive interviews from Dion. So shout out to him, man. I got to get him over here so I can find out what the business is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so man, so uh, man, so so have you seen anything new in the music in Dallas that you want to talk about? What's going on in Dallas, man? What's big? What you dealing with all the big stuff? I mean, I just got here, so it's like you know I'm catching up with family. I just haven't seen them in a long time. You oh, you was gone for how long? I was gone for like. Three three months. I thought you went to D.C. I'm pretty sure you went up to D.C. first. You was thinking about going up to that way, wasn't you? Yeah, I was. But you what 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 made you go a different way than what? what I just like Tennessee better than uh, I, uh Howard. I just liked it better. I I oh. visit both campuses. You did. So I just like yeah. I just liked it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like down there it was gonna be you know we've like in D.C. I've been in D.C. a bunch of times and they like that up there. You know what I'm saying? But where we from, we like kind of slow, you know what I'm saying? But like not like the way of living, you know what I'm saying? So in Tennessee, it's a perfect balance. And then, you know what I'm saying, it's more spread it out, you know? And then it's always cold up there too. Yeah, and yeah. Howard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's cold yeah, up DC, there. Yeah. But you but know, yeah, I went to D.C. Uh, I had got my tattoo up there. Uh, Yeah. So Dion played football dream. He played. The, he, he yeah, played. he did, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I swear, like, I seen that, bro. I think it was a video on his story, and he was like, bro, he he was like, why he, uh, he said some, why he sent him the song before he put it out or something like that. I'm like, bro, he actually listening. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this is, bro. This is prime time, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He had like, so, he had like, he from Dallas, even though he ain't. He loved Dallas, so he always shows so much love up here. Yeah, bro. I'm just saying for him to even like listen to that, bro. He don't even know how much, you know, that meant to. You. Yeah, bro. And I seen it on his story. I'm like, bro, no way, bro, no way, fam. Man, that you know all I'm saying. Like I say, you, you, God keeps showing you these things, and yeah. I think He just, it's like He, like teaching somebody to walk. He just walking you into the place where He wants you to be. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Sure. I think that's hard, man. Yeah, bro. Because you can see your step. Think about it. From what you just said, from starting out to now. Yeah. You've seen the constant, you know. Yeah. The constant guy, the constant wave. I think that's hard. Bro. Just keep working, man. Just keep working. That's all it is, cause you know. I always, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're going to hit bumps and, uh, you know what I'm saying, obstacles, bro. Because I have, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't want to hear that when. What you mean when? Like, bro, being a producer, it's date, bro. I just make it look easy. But it's really, like, <laughs> challenging. Because, do you have listen, blocks sometimes? Yes, all the time. For real? Yes. How do you get out of the mode of even doing the same type beat every single time? You have to listen to, like, different Is stuff. Because cause you hear, the, Where you hear music different. Where inspiration from? It's random. It's so random. Because I remember last, the last time I was up here, I was like, oh, yeah, I just listen to old stuff, and then I come back and see, okay. But now it's just so random. You can hear a song on the radio. You can hear, like, a song. Like, I heard a song in music class. Now, the bands is out. You know what I'm saying? I get my inspiration from there, too. So it's random. You know what I'm saying? You just have to listen for real. Because if you don't, you're going to keep making the same sound. You're going to always keep making the same sound every time. Because it just, you know what I'm saying, you have to put your ear to different stuff. You ever want to make a new sound so bad, but it just can't come to you? Um, uh, n I don't think so. I, I think I transition very well when it comes to making, you know what I'm saying? Because that's why I've, uh, you know... Worked with a lot of people because you know a lot of people have different styles, and I'm able to you know what I'm saying collaborate with them because you know I have different style, I have different weapons in my arsenal. 
Man, so, when you <clears throat> when you go back to school? Uh, January the fifteenth. The fifteenth. Yeah. Yeah. So then by then we'll be there. Dang, that's a long time. So you no. out the whole? Yeah, I took my finals before I even came. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah, why. Yeah, that's hard too, man. I'm just so I'm 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 thinking of how I'm probably gonna get you back on here before you get out of here. Yeah. That way, because yeah, it's going to be good. more projects and we'll be them popped out. So, yeah. man, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to link up uh, with you, man? Instagram, at Ziggy Made It. TikTok, at Ziggy Made It. YouTube, at Ziggy Made That's It. Hard. And then the other YouTube, at Ziggy Made It too. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, we love you, man. And every man, time you come through, man. you better come see me. Don't come to town and don't holler at me. But I ain't got to worry about that with you. Yeah. You a real one, man. Like, you going to check out. You checking in with me like, E, I'm coming on Balls Talk when I get in. Or, hey, man, what's going on? I watch y'all. Thank you so much. That's inspiration yeah, to me, man. For I sure, love it, sure. bro. It motivates me to keep going. I know that I'm here for a reason and a purpose. So thank yeah. you. Yeah. And you, I know you see your dad on here cutting up. You done seen him on here on several occasions. Sam, whatever. He yeah. hanging out, doing his thing. He co-hosting now. So we moving him right along. He yeah, he co-hosting for me. Really? Yeah, yeah. He done did it a few times. He be over here. That's he outside. That's you ain't watching. Doing his thing. The boy be over here bad at it. watching, y'all. But good. Oh, okay. Bad, but good. Do you hear me? Yeah. Bad, but good. We done had some viral moments with him over here. Oh, for real? You ain't know. Viral? Viral. I just be watching y'all when y'all post. I, I promise you we had some viral moments. We got one right watching now. It might, be at, it might be at a half a million right now. It's still going. It popped up this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't giving that nigga nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Check it, man. We got to get out of here. Yeah. Man, yeah. thank you so much. Hey, man. Thank y'all, man. Thank y'all. Man, it's been another great segment. Of Boss Talk 101. What a boss's talk. Man, hold up and we out. Yeah.